Oh, Chamu and Gapo, y'all. <coughs> I didn't mean to press, I didn't mean to start the live, but how are y'all today? It's raining out here. I don't see anybody on yet, though. My day, I'm going hot, I'm crazy. <coughs> I mean, for some of y'all to come on. All right, but anyways, oh, I see a couple of people. <laughs> So we're still setting up the event now. There's a couple people out here. Me and Gabo. Come on. And we are at. Let me see y'all can see this. Lito. Hey, we Gabo cousin. So we're at what is currently called Indian Town. Recreational park. <clears throat> hey, David. But it used to be the Akamak Indian Nation Gingaskin Reservation. All right. So you see the sign says 1640 to 1813. So this was one of the longest, one of the longest running uh, reservations. Okay. So it's commemorating the bicentennial of your closure, which was first termination of reservation lands and detribalization <clears throat> of its owners in United States history, together with the quadricentennial, was it quadricentennial, quad, quadricentennial, excuse me, <clears throat> of the capture in April 1613 of Pocahontas, daughter of Powhatan Paramount Chief of the Algonquin-speaking Indians of Senecomico, which included Virginia's Eastern Shore. Okay. Hey, Camp Powhatan, we ain't got the... <clears throat> So y'all see the hijack right there. And it's raining out here, so I'm looking crazy. Look like I'm in the Wizard of Oz or something. <laughs> That's why. Because it's, um, because it's raining out here. But you see how they gave them the reservation, 1640, and then they took it back, 1813. And what they were trying to do, which they did something similar to the Nottaway, <clears throat> is they tried to get people to sell, um, to basically individualize the plots per family or person. And they try to get the people to sell the plots. So they'd be eventually overrun, but this one they had this tribe got detribalized, which we know that a lot of the people looked like us, and that's why they got one of the reasons why they got detribalized. <clears throat> he said, "You, re I read on the Gingaskin res and how their white neighbors were getting worried because the Gingaskins were marrying free blacks. Uh, the Gingaskins were the free people of color." Okay, they were the free people of color, they were enslaved people of color, but mostly the free people of color. So how can they, why would they be worried that they marry themselves? Does that make any sense? It's, it's an excuse. It's really an excuse. So it used to be like a plaque out here. Now they just have this sign that I just read. Let me show y'all if y'all missed it. Please like and share the video out too so other people can see it. Do you see what it says? The first termination of reservation lands and detribalization of its owners in the United States history together with the quadricentennial of the capture in April 1613 of Pocahontas. Okay. So they're celebrating do y'all do y'all see the language here they're celebrating two captures basically two two victories for them right the detribalization and the capture of this land as well as the capture and colonization of pocahontas okay so that's just how they sneak little things in there for us right it was raindrops all on here <coughs> Hey, Steven. 
So this is the Northampton County. Let me see also. Northampton County. Okay. So we're all out here sitting up. We got food trucks out here. People are indoors. But I just wanted to show y'all that real quick because they, they got a little sneaky language. And then this rock here. <clears throat> now in the South, especially Virginia and places like that, North Carolina, you're going to see these big rocks, even Pennsylvania. But people don't know that these big rocks, they have a spiritual attribute to them. And many times these are markers of fallen soldiers. Okay. Either the, the soldier died here, the warrior died here or it's just to commemorate them. So when you see these big rocks, now if some of us know <clears throat> out in the country, it's a lot of European people have these things just sitting in their front yard. Don't be fooled that they don't know what it means. And if you move one of these things, it said that you get cursed too. So don't mess with, <laughs> don't mess with them. He said this, the fallen warrior will come back to life and haunt you. <clears throat> so, I wouldn't mess with that. Oh, no problem. So, yeah, it was a long drive out here, but a lot of people drove longer. So, I'm not um, too mad. How do you know which ones have that meaning? Um... Pretty much all of them have that meaning. And what they used to do is they used to stack them up too. Um, there's still some in Pennsylvania and places like that, going up north. And um, you'll see them like this, right? But you'll see them with the other stones on top of them, or you see them making a cave, like a little cave in cave type of um, setup thing going on there <clears throat> so you can look those up there's there's some other videos on YouTube showing those hey breezy peace you said that makes sense the whites were saying because of marriage that they were not Indian anymore and she gave her their land for the whites to form it better <laughs> you, you know that's the trick and it, it was used many times and people like Thomas Jefferson um, I went to Monticello when I saw that place people like Thomas Jefferson was the one who started that okay he started the notion of getting um, the Europeans to pretend like the indigenous people were gone okay or mixed out and trying to say that we negro was different from being an indian okay so that was their narrative Halito, hey cousin hey family you say there's tons in texas yeah don't mess with i'm telling you don't mess with them i wouldn't mess with them unless you know how to move them unless you know how to uh cleanse them and whatever ask for permission i wouldn't i wouldn't do it <clears throat> at all but yeah, there's a lot of people rolling up now, even though it's raining. We're trying to make the best of it out here. I'm tired. <laughs> I didn't get much sleep at all. I did not get much sleep. Y'all got any questions? I'm trying to go try to go live again. Oh, there's some of my cousin over here. All right, y'all. Well, I'm going to come back on here a little later. But please share this video out. Like it and subscribe to the channel. I know.